Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today it will be a little bit of a vlog, kind of showing you around our new home. Um, do a little unboxing that I got from Rothy's. I got a Rothy's package, so I'm excited to open that and then just kind of give you an update on the layouts for every room and just kind of what we're planning to do. All right, so here's our front door. Um, it's actually really windy here. No one really told me that. I think I mentioned that in one of my last videos. So I didn't want to hang my Christmas wreath outside. I made this, found a tutorial on YouTube. So I don't want to lose this. I don't want it to blow away because it just, just hooked up there. So we're just going to hang it on the inside. So it's a little weird, but we'll make it work. So here you walk in and you have these little staircase there's my little karma girl hey karma so you walk up and then you see our living room so movers came and they actually dropped all our things off took everything out of the boxes that's just a box of cords so that doesn't matter um so we're still in the middle of rearranging our tv stand broke our little entertainment center so we're working on getting a new one the couches here are missing a little piece to kind of hold it together so you can see there are gaps there and there's my little sign back when i was still on tv and then here's biggie let's go check out what biggie's doing so it's just him hanging, hanging out over there and then we'll walk into the kitchen so we got all of this stuff there. We've got a little pile of things that we need to donate right over here. A little pile of things we need to put away. So a lot is going on in this house. So here's our kitchen. We kind of got it a little more organized than it used to be. So countertops have been cleared off for the most part. I think I'm gonna get a new one of these. So when I go to Target later today, it's just a little difficult to clean and I might just get a new one. Like I tried washing this off, um, but you can see it's just dirty at the bottom. So I didn't think I might, might just get a new one. We've got the wine out and organized. We've got our little mini liquor cabinet right there. And our little Keurig, which I don't really use except for like hot chocolate. And then here's our little collection of shot glasses. I think we have way too many. So let's go on and take a look out here. So this room takes us to the sunroom, Arizona room, which I'm still kind of calling it that even though there's not a lot of open windows. I mean, we have like one or two, but I know typically in an Arizona room or sunroom, um, the whole wall is just a bunch of windows, but I don't know. So here we have a hot tub which I was really surprised to find when Chris found this house. And then in here, we've got a sauna. Is there a light in here? Yep. So I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if I've, I'll really ever use this. I kind of hate saunas. And then we have the back. Oh, it's a cute little space. Um, there's a bunch of snow out there. Last night, we just put all our patio furniture out. Um, that's like a dead tomato plant right there. There's some dead roses there. I, I mean, they look dead, so. The dogs absolutely love the yard. Karma, what are you eating? So this is an older house. I believe it was built in the 70s. So if we walk out of the kitchen, we get down to this hall. This is just a linen closet. Let me turn on the light for you. That light didn't do much, but there's some closets. I mean, there's some jackets in the closet and there's a vacuum behind all those bags. This room, we have the bathroom. And once again, I am taking up all the counter space, but this is really actually just gonna be my bathroom. And I love that the counter has, or that the vanity has a lot of drawers and a lot of storage. So that's really good. Uh, this is actually, we're using it as our pantry. We just don't have a lot of space for storage, so that's why we are using this as our pantry. That might change later, not really sure. It's supposed to be a linen closet. And of course, all the stuff that was in the living room and downstairs was all, mo was all moved up here. So still got a long ways to go. Like that steamer needs to go back downstairs. All right, the next room right over here, this is going to be my office slash closet. 
So you can see I've already placed the desk where I want it to be in the middle of the room. I want this to kind of be my space for my videos, kind of get some nice things to hang in the background right over there. This is a little shelf unit, like cube storage. Let's see, I got it from Target. It was only like 40 bucks. I thought it was gonna cost more. So we're gonna be putting that together today. And when I say we, I mean me. So here's a pile of clothes I need to hang. Um, this, okay, the wall is green. I would never do this myself, but, and I was planning to actually paint this white and paint those shelves white, but you know what? It just sounds like a lot of work. And I just don't feel like doing it, honestly. So I think I might just leave it green. One thing I'm, I don't like is that I don't have a full on closet where I can hang long dresses because as you can see right here, this is like, like no. I'm gonna move this table of course, but like my lace dresses, they're gonna get caught on the other end of the hangers there. So that's a little bit of a problem. Now I'm gonna take you guys downstairs. So this was actually the garage and it was converted into a room. So we have a wood burning fireplace right there. We put my beige couch right there. We've got a lot of laundry we need to do. Uh, we're getting a new washer and dryer today. We actually don't have one at the house right now. So we had to go out and buy a whole new set. So we've got towels we need to wash, blankets, pillows for the other bedroom upstairs a lot we need to take care of not sure what we're going to do with those chairs this round couch i guess it's going to stay there and all of our movies are right here coming out of that room the fireplace wood burning room this is uh, our second bathroom so this is actually going to be chris's bathroom it's like his little bachelor bathroom the shower is extremely tiny he says he likes it i don't know i like to do full rotations in the shower and i guess he doesn't so I don't like that. All right, come on, let's go. All right, so this is our little laundry area. Chris has been painting this room. So this used to be all white and we're doing a light gray color. I mean, it looks a little dark on camera. And then we're gonna do a darker gray and I told him to get like a dark navy blue, bluish but gray color. I don't know what he's gonna find. We will see. And then our plan is to paint those cabinets probably the same color as the shelves so it will match that dark grayish blue color i really don't know we'll see what happens and then of course the washer and dryer will go right up against there so that should work out and in this same area we've got another room this is really all of chris's military gear um all his shoes and the biggie acting like a wild beast All right, and then from that room, we go here to the master bedroom. And you can see it's kind of like a cabin style. Um, so not really my style at all. This is kind of cool. I wish this could be like white and then like a light brown color up top. So actually what we're gonna do is paint all of this white and then we'll probably leave the top because that'll just be a little more challenging. And so right out of the master bedroom is this weird little nook. I have no idea what to do with this. Like obviously the box, the suitcase, the hamper, and that little rug, they're not gonna stay there. But I just don't know what to do with that room. Or it's not even a room, it's just a little nook. So I really, if anyone out there has any ideas on what to do with weird little spaces in a house, let me know. Okay guys, so that's our house. And now we're gonna go and get a few things done. But first, let's unbox this Rothy's package I got because normally when I get a package, I love to unbox them right away. It's kind of like Christmas for me anytime I get um, a package in the mail. Okay, so here is the Rothy's Camo Portfolio. I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to get this. And I actually had wanted this way, way back when they first came out with it, because I actually don't have a laptop case. But then I thought, you know what? 
I'm moving, I might, I might as well just wait. And then actually traveling without a laptop case made me very, very, very nervous. So I should have got this a long time ago. The website says this portfolio can fit 14 inch laptops. So let's see how this fits with my 13 inch. I wanna see how spacey, how roomy it is. Like, is it gonna be too much space? It's kind of like a little briefcase. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Oh my God, it's perfect. Oh my God absolutely love it oh and it's not too spacious i think it is perfect because you don't want it too snug to where it makes it difficult to get out of the of the case it's a little magnetic right here Did that oh my god so pretty it's so perfect and you have a little pocket area right here and one right here too mm. Oh my God, it's beautiful. And you can fit like folders, paperwork. So there is definitely room to carry more, but I think mostly I'll just use this to carry my laptop, maybe any important documents if I'm going to like any job interviews, like of my resume or something like that. But I'm so glad I got this. So if you haven't heard about Rothy's, I absolutely love them. They make their bags, shoes, everything from recycled materials. That also includes the packaging. I really like how the packaging isn't too flashy. I'll have to make a little collection video showing you everything that I have from Rothy's. What I want next is their Weekender bag, I believe. It's in the blue camo navy, like a navy blue camo print. It is gorgeous i absolutely want it i just love their products i think they're made very well and they last long and they're machine washable so that's a plus even their purses Just made a quick run to Target to pick that up. Luckily, I got the last white shelf, and I think that looks great. That's my um, phone tripod. So, planning to put some bags, shoes, maybe a few things on top, and I think that's the perfect amount of space so that I can still put things on top of the shelves without it being seen through the window. and dryer today actually got delivered on Chris's birthday so it was like a birthday gift to himself and me <laughs> so Chris also redid the trim um, he's really fixing up this room so look at the first room we're fixing
totally forgot to end this video, but I'm making dinner now. I started at like 8.30, it's super late. But I want to show you what I'm making. It's this Impossible Burger. Um, I've had like something like the Impossible Burger before, but the first time from that brand. So I'm making that right now and gonna make, and eating <laughs> and heating up some fries. And then um, got a lot of work done today, so I'll pick it back up tomorrow. Oh my God, couldn't even wait to take a bite of my burger. So, so good, I'm starving. All right, so I actually ended up staying up really late last night to get all of this done. So I got all my shoes, their bags up on the shelf, not sure what how to organize this yet. The floor is actually clear, you can see it now, so we're making big, big progress. These are all of Chris's feet, so we gotta put those away. This is his stuff as well. Um, clothes are mostly hung up. I think almost all of them, except for stuff that's in the hamper that needs to be washed. And this blanket, I was just sitting on the floor last night. I don't know. Even in this room as well, this will be our spare bedroom. So that's why we got this mattress right here. And we got some of my shoes in there. Halloween, this will be like our Halloween outfit, costume, um, my spare shoes and just miscellaneous items, so. Oh, and there's some of our wreaths too. We need to hang this one somewhere. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. We're gonna keep unpacking and I'll see you in the next video.